Hi, French Horns. In this video, we're going to uh, show you where to find the band song Bugler's Holiday in our Google Classroom page, as well as work on the beginning of the song Bugler's Holiday. So here we have our Google Classroom page for elementary band. And if you click over to the Classwork tab, you'll see our lesson schedule and Zoom link, a section that says band songs, our scale and fingering charts, and our resources. So obviously today we're going to go to where Bugler's Dream is. And you'll see a drop-down box that shows all of the pieces of music for each instrument. So we are looking for F horn. So it'll say Bugler's Dream F horn PDF. And when you open it, it'll come up uh, right on our Google Classroom page. We'll zoom in a little bit here so we can see it a little bit better. So what we're going to work on today is actually measures five through eight in this video. And you will see how learning just these four measures actually helps us learn almost actually 12 measures of music, so almost half the song. Now, if you don't know Bugler's Dream, you'll see in parentheses underneath it says Olympic Fanfare. So this song is actually the song that they play for the Olympics, if you ever watch the Olympics. Uh, it is more of a watered down version, obviously, so we can play it for elementary band. So we rest in the first four measures here. And we are going to work on measures five, six, seven, and eight. I, the trumpets are who actually play in measures one, two, three, and four. Now, we're going to break this down measure by measure so we can you can play along with me. Now, hopefully you're warmed up. We start here at measure five, and we have two half notes. The first half note is an F, and the second half note is G. So we're going to start just at measure five, playing the F and G. Obviously, you want to make sure you can find the right sounds. I'm going to give you the F first, make sure I have the right sound as well. <laughs> So if you can match that pitch, there's your F. If you have to hum it or sing it, uh, internalize it, that way you know you can accurately hit that F right off the bat. So here we are at measure five, playing F and then G, just that measure. I'll count this off. One, two, ready, and go. <laughs> So again, we're just doing that measure, measure five. F, G. And now we're going to go on and do measure six. So instead of half notes, we have four quarter notes. So one beat each. The first note we have is an A. The second note is a G. Third note is an F. And then the last note in the measure goes back up to A. So those A, G, F, A all in quarter notes. So here is just measure six. Here's our A sound. There's our A. Here we go. One, two, ready, and go. So now we're going to combine measures five and six. So it'll go F, G, A, G, F, A. Here we go. One, two, measure five, and go. Now we're going to go and start measure seven. We have two half notes again, but instead of uh, an F and G at measure seven, we have two G's. So we're going G, G, here's just measure seven. Here's our G first, here's our G first. Match that pitch, here we go, measure seven. Run, one, two, ready, and go. And then measure eight goes just three notes, two quarter notes and a half note, where we have A, F, A. Here's our A. And here's measure eight all together. One, two, ready, and eight. So 
So here's seven and eight together. Starting in measure seven. Here's your G. Starting in measure seven. One, two, ready, and go. So now we're going to combine all four of those measures, five, six, seven, and eight. Here we go. Here's our starting pitch F first. Hopefully you can internalize it and memorize it. One, two, measure five, ready, and go. So that's measures five, six, seven, and eight. And now at the beginning of this video, I mentioned how even just learning these four measures is uh, actually like learning 12 measures because if we scroll down to measures 17, 18, 19, and 20, and look at measures 21, 22, 23, and 24, they're very similar. Not exactly the same, but very similar. So let's look at just 17 through 20 really quick. Look at measure 5, and it's F and G, and measure 17 is the same thing, F to G. 18, and measure 6 goes A, G, F, A. Measure 18 goes A, G, F, A. And 19 is the same thing, two Gs. The only difference is in measure 20, where we have in 8, we have A, F, A. In measure 20, we have A, F, G. So one note is different out of the 17, 18, 19, and 20. So it's just one slight difference. And now it's similar in measures 21, 22, 23, 24. So comparing it to measure 5 again, instead of going in 21 from F to G, we just go from F to A. So that's the only difference there. And then the rest of it is just like measure 5. A, G, F, A. Same with the G, G. And then A, F, A. The only, there's one note that's different. And that's it. So once you learn measure five, six, measures 5, 6, 7, and 8, you pretty much have the understanding of 17 all the way to 24. So here's measure 17 to 24, just to play them. If you would like to play along, you're welcome to. If you'd just like to listen and then rewind and play back again, you can do that. Here is measure 17. Here's our starting pitch F first. Here we go. One, two, measure 17. There you go. All right, friends. Well, that'll do it for this video. Please keep practicing and check back because we will work on measures 11 and 12, 15 and 16, and from 29 to the end. Keep practicing. We'll see you next time.